Hey guys, what's up? It is Jaxi, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom heads in your single player or multiplayer world. Now, these custom heads go great with any build. For example, Wild's Treehouse, that is inspired by Winnie the Pooh's house, have these cute little honeypot custom heads that really, really amp up the build's details. But you can use them for that. You can use them for little Steve plushies, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to get. You can find all sorts of things, decorate kitchens with them. And of course, if you want to check out the tutorial for this build, um, the link for that will be in the description down below. Now we're going to go through single player and multiplayer slightly separately because there is a bit of a difference and a few things you need to check out for both. So stay tuned while we get going. So in your single player world, you need to have cheats enabled to hit your custom heads. So if you are in creative, you'll have cheats enabled automatically. But if you're not, all you have to do is press escape, open to land, click allow cheats on, then click start land world and that'll change it. So um, your cheats are now enabled. Now do slash give space your name. Minecraft, so Minecraft colon command block, then click enter. You'll get given one of these right here. Then you want to go ahead and place that down. Now you want to come over to your browser and go to minecraft-heads.com slash custom-heads. This link will be in the description down below and find the head that you want. So let's say I want this Steve plushie. Go over and click on this. Now you can either copy the set block command or the summon armor stand command. My personal favorite is the set block one because the armor stand summons an armor stand with armor on it. So it just gives you unwanted sort of other things. So I'm going to copy the set block here. Then we're going to go back into Minecraft. Now we want to open up this command block and do control V, click done, and then place a lever on it and flick it and it will set the block above it to the custom head. Now to actually pick up this custom head, you can either be in survival, if I just hop into survival quickly and break it, then I'll get the custom head and you can see I can put it on if I want and I'll look very funny. Or if I just place this back down for a second, if you are in creative and don't want to change into survival, press control and then push down on your scroll wheel that's middle click. So that means you get your head. If you just click middle click, you won't get the actual design because you're not copying the NBT data. Now, if you are on a server, you can still use this, but make sure that your server has command blocks enabled and of course cheats enabled, or there is another method. On a server like my Patreon server, we have a special plugin that means when a player dies or a mob, it drops their head. So we can use this to our advantage. So by changing our skin to the head that we want, I will change it now. And you can find the head that you want. We'll try and get the Steve plushie again, but on the server, go down to this link here, click on it and it'll open up this and we just want to save this image. So right click and click save image as. And just save it down there. Once you've done that, go back to your Minecraft launcher by shutting down the game and opening it up again. Then go over to skins, click new skin and browse. Then you want to find the file and select it. Once you've selected the file, you should get something that looks like this. So this skin is clearly Alex holding the Steve plushie, but because we're just getting the head, we're just getting the Steve plushie up there. Then we want to click save and use, and we can go ahead and click play and start up our game. And now I have got my skin, I just have to find a way to kill myself so I can get my head. Now keep in mind that the drop rate, my skin is so very weird, the drop rate for these heads is not always 100% so you may need to jump off a cliff a few times to get it or you may even need a player to kill you. So if I were to fall from this very high height and fall and die, you can see that it actually does drop my head there. Now it just disappeared because it disappeared on the respawn screen but if I were to run back to that location of my base oh, there's a spider there do not want to die the head will be on the ground there and i will be able to pick it up now like i said before you may need to get another play to kill you or jump off a high place it all depends on the server's mechanics if you contact a server moderator or admin they should be able to help you with that but if it is your server you can check the config files for that but i now have a steve plushy head that i can sort of just place down wherever i want look how cute that is on that note, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.